in this video we are going to discuss about python program to print sum of digits of a given number uh, let the number is 123 so what are the digits in 123 1 2 3 so sum of 1 2 3 is 6 let the number is 786 then what are the digits in 786 7 8 6 so sum of 7 8 and 6 is 21 so 21 will be the result now let's see the program uh, the first statement is we have to read a number from the keyboard in order to read the data from the keyboard in python we use this input function input of enter a number but the problem with input function is input function returns data as a string but here we have to print uh, some of the digits of the number okay so we have to convert string into integer string into number so that should be done with the help of the int function so int function will converts that string into integer okay so let the number is 786 so now 786 will be converted into the integer now n contains 7, 786 and in order to calculate some of the digits of the given number we have taken the initial value of the sum as 0 uh, if we add 0 to any number then the result won't change okay so 0 plus 1 means that number only 1 only 0 plus 9 means uh, that number only that is 9 only so by adding 0 to any number the result won't change so that's why we have to take the initial value of the sum as 0 uh, let's see the logic first and then we will see with the help of a program and then we will see in a computer practically whether this program is working properly or not so why n is greater than 0 so we have to perform the repetition as long as n is greater than 0 here these three statements are the body of the while loop uh, so first here uh, we have to calculate the reminder reminder uh, r is equal to n modulo 10 n modulo 10 so if we calculate remainder then we will get the last digit of that number let the number is 123 then we will get the last digit of 123 that is 3 next we have to add thus that reminder to some value the initial value of the sum is 0 so sum is equal to sum plus r sum plus r so now that last digit is added to the sum okay so now uh, we perform the operation on the last digit now we need to perform the remaining operations on its previous digits so now we have to change n value for that purpose here uh, we use this statement n is equal to n by by 10 in python this is called as uh, floor division operator or integer division operator if we perform floor division or integer division then we will get only that integer quotient we will get integer quotient in place of this uh, uh, double division operators if we use only one slash if we use only one slash then the problem here is uh, uh, in python uh, division operator will always gives a floating point number as the result so the result may changes so that's why we have to perform a uh, division operation with the help of uh, floor division or integer division operator so that means we have to use two division symbols okay so when uh, this uh, while loop will be repeated for the number of digits which are in that number suppose if the number contains three digits then the for loop will be repeated for three times suppose if the number contains five digits then the for loop uh, this is while loop sorry suppose if the number contains five digits then the while loop will be repeated for five times suppose if the number contains two digits then the while loop will be repeated for two times okay uh, so whenever the condition is false then we have to display the sum value why because that uh, that uh, resultant sum is available in some variable so print sum of digits of n is sum sum so that that sum will get printed now let us see problematically let the number is 786 so here what is n value 786 so 786 is greater than 0 condition is true so the body will get executed okay so uh, for that purpose here we have performed operation so 1078 are uh, 1078 are 780 so 786 minus 780 means what? 6. 786 minus 780 means 6. What is the first statement? R is equal to n modulo 10. We know that uh, modulo will always give remainder. So what is the remainder? 6. 6. Remainder means we always get the last digit. Okay. So in 786, what is the last digit? 6. So now R value is 6. What is the next statement? Sum is equal to sum plus R. The initial value of sum is 0. So 0 will be added to R value. So what is our value? 6. So 0 plus 6 means 6. So now sum is 6. 
Next, we performed operations on 6. Next, in the next iteration, we have to perform operation on 78. So, we need to get the 78. So, for that purpose, we have written the statement. n is equal to n by by 10. n by by 10. So, this is called as floor division or integer division. So here actually we will get some 78.6 as the result if you perform the operation. But here we use as what? Integer division. Integer division means we will get only that integer value. In 780, in 78.6, the integer value is 78 only. So we will get 78. So now n value is 78. In the next iteration, n value is 78. So once again, while loop will be repeated. Now what is n value 78? 78 is greater than 0. Condition is true. So once again we have performed the operation. So 10 7s are 70. 78 minus 70 means 8. So now the remainder is 8. So r is equal to n modulo 10. So what is the remainder? 8. Next to sum is equal to sum plus r. The previous value of sum is 6. 6 plus what is remainder value? 8. 6 plus 8 means 14. So now the sum value is 14. So we performed operation on 8. Next we have to perform operation on 7. So in order to get 7, so we have performed this operation. n is equal to n by by 10. So 78 by by 10 means we will get 7.8. 7.8. But integer division or floor division means we will get only that integer value. So here what is the integer value in 7.8? 7. So we will get 7 as the result. So in the next iteration, n value will become 7. Okay. So now n is 7. So once again, control goes to the while loop. Why? What is n value 7? 7 is greater than 0. Condition is true. So once again, the body will get executed. So 7, so 10, 7 model, so 10 zeros are 0. 7 minus 0 means 7. So now the remainder is 7. Okay. R is equal to n modulo 10. 7 modulo 10 means 7. Sum is equal to sum plus R. What is the initial previous value of sum 14? Now R value is 7. So 14 plus 7 means 21. So now the sum value is 21. Uh, next, n is equal to n by 10. n by 10. So 7 by 10 means the result is 0. The result is 0. Result is 0. So once again, control goes to the while loop. 0 greater than 0. 0 greater than 0. Condition is false. 0 greater than 0. Condition is false. So the control comes out from the while loop. So print sum of digits of n is. So what is the sum of digits of n? What is the value in sum? 21. So we will get 21 as the output. Now let us see whether this program is working properly or not in computer. Now let us see the program execution. So first we have read it a number from the keyboard. So next the initial value of the sum is 0. Uh, while n is greater than 0, this is the body. So first we have to calculate the remainder. Then add sum to the remainder. Uh, next perform floor division or integer division. n is equal to n by by 10. Here we use two slash symbols. If we use a single slash, we will get a floating point number as the result. But here we need only that integer number. So that's why we perform a division division operation. Floor division. Next we add whenever the condition is false. Next we display the corresponding result. Sum of the digits of n is sum. Let us run the program once. Uh, so let the number is 1, 2, 3, 4. So what is the sum of 1, 2, 3, 4? So 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. So we got 10 as the output. Let us run the program one more time. Let the number is 786. So sum of 786 is 21. So 21 is the output. Okay. So with this, uh, uh, we can conclude that our program is working correctly.